Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Ella. Today we're going to be doing another pick a card reading. In this specific reading we are going to try and figure out how does the person you have in mind thinks about you? How do they feel about you? How do they see you? Do they even think about you at all? So for this specific reading we have five options. Number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. Um, each card here has a different message. I decided to do it like this. So first message is you were born with this it quality. You can choose the message or you can choose this pile if it resonates with you. Second one we have they chose you. Third one, we have karma is on your side. I felt really drawn to do this reading today this way, to put this message up front. We also have here, see me with their eyes. And we have here, love doesn't have to be near. So here we go, one, two, three, four, and five. Make your choice. You can choose more than one pile at the same time. You can also choose maybe different piles for different people. Really, you know, like just my suggestion to you, try to be playful with it. Don't think about it too hard. You know, I if I ever like watch other people's <laughs> readings, I spend about one second making a choice and then I see if it resonates, great. If it doesn't, well, not today. So again, keep in mind this is a general reading. So maybe a part of this message will resonate, maybe all of it resonate, but maybe none of it will resonate. So it's okay. You know, always put your own intuition first. Hopefully, you know, this is going to be helpful. And um, all the information about readings and classes currently offered in the, is in the description box on our Etsy shop. Watch out for an announcement regarding some new cards and merchandise that we will be soon launching. But anyway, guys, let's get started with your readings. I'll see you at a timestamp. Number one, let's see what you guys got. So for everybody who chose pile number one, let's see what your message is. We have here this message. We have here this message which talks which talks about seeking something. Card of a seeker. We also have here the chariots. We have here Luna, Moon. Somebody here could be Cancerian. We have here Scythe, which is all about cutting off something from the past. We have here you were born with that it quality. We have here the Empress, definitely somebody is a Cancerian here. We also have here Monk, Nun, Archetype cards. We have here Stay in the Moment, Earth Star Chakra. We have here the Five of Cups. How does this person feel about you and how do they see you? We have here Strength. And we have here a look for a sign. Wow, what an interesting message I'm getting here. So first and foremost, how does this person feel about you? I feel like this person right now could be experiencing some sadness. Uh, it could be that whatever, you know, is happening between the two of you, you both are feeling it. I feel like you guys both are very emotional people. I feel like the signs that I'm seeing here, definitely for somebody here, it could be with the chariot and the moon. I think definitely somebody's considering here. You could also have Leo in your chart or they could have Leo or considering in their chart. And also perhaps a strong Venus, so Libra or Taurus, or maybe just, you know, Venus strong in your chart, like Venus on your ascendant, Venus sitting together with your moon, stuff like that. So anyway, uh, what I'm seeing here is that definitely there is one person here who is really sad right now. It seems like, you know, I am almost getting even like they are retrieving from the world. They are kind of like maybe even going deeper if they're spiritual or religious, like they go, they're trying to disconnect from the physical world and just going, you know, um, kind of like towards their face, towards the spiritual realms, something that you need to watch out for whether it's you or a person you're connecting with, I think it's important to make sure that uh, you don't disconnect from the physical world. Like it's all about balance. You need we need to have balance both in the spiritual and in the material. It's not about choosing one over another. It's about that perfect balance. So I do feel like somebody here is just sort of like trying to, you know, trying to separate from whatever is happening, whatever situation is happening. And this card here reminds you to stay in the moment make sure you are always connected to the present moment um make sure you know somebody here maybe is reading the power of now i'm even getting if not it's a great book i recommend it's important that you stay in the moment because very often our emotions tend to take us all over the place to the past to the future that hasn't yet happened and the most important thing especially when you feel so emotional and so sensitive is to make sure you ground yourself so what else I'm getting here? I feel like, you know, for some of you, there could be possibly an ending with this person, maybe even recently. Um, and I do feel like this person is sad. 
I do feel like we both are actually really sad here that certain things here had to end but at the same time what I'm also getting here is that it's almost like you're searching for something. You're searching for a sign. This person may be even also searching for a sign, maybe searching for, you know, a sign from you that um, whether you're over them or not. I do feel like feelings here are mutual on both sides, but there is a lot of sadness. Like there is just overwhelming degree of sadness I'm, he I'm seeing here. And because we have the Empress here, I think this card here specifically came out to also symbolize how this person sees you i think this person sees you as somebody very beautiful very motherly even energy very feminine energy so this person definitely has feelings to you however you know with the strength card here there's also some in this specific case i feel like there is a bit of a pride and ego involved here maybe even from both sides and also a lot of emotions like i'm getting more than anything there's so much so much emotion here this emotion really i think clouds your judgment actually i think the sign you are looking for is right there but you need to ground yourself in the present moment you need to make sure that you're not running away with your emotions months of july and right now when we're recording this is the month of july could be important for you there could be important developments uh, in your connection with this person and also because we do have we just had a solar eclipse which was very positive energy actually it was a very positive eclipse but we also have a lunar eclipse happening very soon as well i think in a week from now uh, that one is a bit more of a heavier energy because there is also saturn sitting there south node and pluto so it could be a bit more karmic eclipse and the lunar eclipses are always about endings and letting go and we do have here this card about letting go of something so for some of you you could be letting go of that connection during the eclipse season for others there could be possibly just a change of direction so it could be that with this person's finally you will find that balance and start really understanding what is it you actually want um, for other people, it could be just that you will choose to separate from the situation completely. How this manifests, I don't know. It depends really here. I do feel there is, again, a lot of sadness, but also a lot of feelings. And even somebody here, I feel like separating themselves from the physical world, maybe even feeling a bit depressed. So if this is you, it's important, again, you stay in the moment. So, like, not everything you feel often is real, because sometimes when we take our emotions so seriously, we disconnect from our body we become ruled our, by our emotions and it's important to understand that even though our feelings and emotions are important and they need to be honored we are the master of our mind we are you know it's like we have this uh, power to choose you know how much our feelings control us or not and again, somebody here with a chariot and uh, the moon is a Cancerian. I also feel like this person right now could be going through a very, either you or your person could be going through a very important time period creatively. And uh, if you doubt yourself, make sure that uh, you understand that it's not even about being the best, but sometimes certain people just have this unique quality that extraordinary uniqueness and you don't always have to be the best. Sometimes you just need to tap into the part of you which is the most unique about you and share it with the world and uh, it's not about competition it's not about trying to beat any competition or be better than anyone else it's only about really connecting to the light within and really just sort of like demonstrating it to the world uh sharing it with whoever you want to share but definitely this person feels very attracted to you this person does see you as a very beautiful person but there is a sadness on both sides and also just being overwhelmed i'm hearing with emotions not sure in which direction to go um for some of you it's about also disconnecting from the situation completely searching for some kind of sign and i feel like the sign you're searching is right there you just need again like this card suggests stay in the moment to not miss it and let me just read from this card you'll have to travel far and near to find the love that you'll hold dear home sweet home can be a rut there is no there is no trap like a mind that's shut the world is full of different ways that you should learn without delay. So travel and hobbies also can help you. It's important to expand your awareness. So what I'm getting from here, it's almost like these two cards sort of make a lot of more sense to me now. I feel like for a lot of you, especially who've been isolating yourself from the world, maybe just being, you know, sort of like shot in your own world, it's time to open up. It's time to get out of this, you know, sadness, whatever you're experiencing and go and expand your view of the world maybe even take a trip maybe even take a journey maybe even travel somewhere maybe learn something new if you cannot travel uh but i do feel like this pile number one whoever chose this 
is definitely a bit more of a heavier, more challenging energy. You guys, especially if you're Cancerian, especially, um, you know, even Leo here, you could be especially affected also by this eclipse that's coming. So just make sure you ground yourself. Again, stay in the moment. Um, do whatever you need to comfort yourself. Uh, because there is certain feeling like there's something is ended, something new is beginning, change of direction for some of you. And I feel like the most important message for you here, don't doubt yourself. And also it's time to really, really tap into your creativity and it's time to get out of whatever rut or whatever, you know, um, like whatever it is you created for yourself, safe haven, because you're afraid to get out of it. It's time to basically go ahead and start living your life and start slowly, step by steps, maybe uh, taking steps in towards the direction of your dreams, because here the chariot always follows the star, towards the direction of your dreams, your goals and your wishes. Anyway, pile number one, thank you so much for watching. You always feel free to uh, check another pile. And now we're going to move to pile number two. Everyone who chose pile number two, we have here a thinking gentleman. We have here the champions. We have here the sun. <laughs> we have here Capricorn. Oh boy, I already know where this is going. They chose you. We have here six of pentacles. We have here the fool. <laughs> we have here love and relationships, heart chakra. A lot of green color here as well. We also have here judgment. We have here nine of swords. And we have here, listen to your intuition. So first and foremost, let me start with some of the signs that I'm seeing here. So I feel like either you or a person you're dealing with could be Capricorn or it could be just one person in this connection could be older than another one. Also, I'm seeing here Gemini and Virgo. Um, seeing here Gemini, Virgo, for some people, maybe even Leo as well. Um, yeah. Gemini, Virgo, somebody definitely with strong Mercury, maybe even in their chart, and the Leo as well. So how this person feels about you, I definitely feel this person likes you. There is probably even very deep feelings. I do feel like whoever watches this pile number two, there might have been a choice between two people, like whether you had somebody else as well or they had somebody else as well. I feel like in this situation there was somehow more than one person involved. Maybe even this was a scenario where you met also in some kind of group setting. Uh, but definitely it could even be that you had somebody else still and they had somebody else still. Or maybe just one of you had somebody else. So it would depend for different people here. It will be a different situation. But I feel like this person definitely likes you a lot. This is about somebody who is thinking a lot. Somebody who is an analytical gentleman. Somebody who is very much associated with their mind. I'm hearing something about their mind is important. So I don't know. Even I'm hearing... There is something about them and they show me like a name or something in some kind of language. So it's a not English language. I'm not sure. Maybe it's some, something in Spanish or in Greek or whatever. Maybe somebody's name here even means something related to smart or something like that. Analytical, some stuff like that. I'm not sure. This could be specific messages for one person. Um, I'm also feeling here that uh, this person, well, again, Let's get get uh, let's get get it over with the obvious. Uh, I do feel definitely this person and you share some kind of romantic connection. There's definitely feelings that come from the heart. There's definitely, you know, attraction and love that is present. What I do feel here though is that again there was a choice between some people, and it's almost like for this person, this situation could still, by the way, be going on. Um, months of June or even May could be important. And I almost feel like this person could have been very busy with things. Maybe there was a lot of people who needed this person's attention. And this person felt, part of them, their ego felt a, a little bit good because they were like, oh, there's all these people, you know, especially if it's a man like, like feeling popular and all of that. But at the same time, I do feel like there was a moment where there was, this person was like, oh my God, I'm giving this little bit and little bit and little bit of myself to everyone. And I think it's not just about romantic relationships. I think maybe this person already has kids or maybe he's just, he or she is just very busy with their work, a lot of friends, family members that need this person. And I feel like this person had a bit of even inner breakdown where they were like, oh my God, like I'm trying to do all these things, but I'm really not giving anything to anyone. I'm giving just crumbs. And you see here, like here, I'm just what stands out to me. It's almost like crumbs. So 
they, this person had this kind of moments and I feel like this person was also very worried judging even themselves maybe about whatever they feel to you or just other things in general I'm getting strong Virgo energy here but doesn't have to be necessarily and I feel like this person was thinking a lot again about the situation there were moments when they were even overthinking the situation how to proceed with it if they're doing the right choice or not who to choose what to do all of these things a lot of definitely a lot of anxiety was there with this person I even feel like it's possible that this person could have been wearing a mask like literally they weren't really telling you how they feel maybe there was a moment when they expressed their attraction but then they were like oh shoot <laughs> i cannot really do this what am i doing because the feelings that kind of happened to this person sort of took them by surprise and so they started acting on it and then they were like there was a moment i think that this person pulled back and they were like oh shit i cannot just do this you know maybe they already had a relationship or there was some kind of commitment or obligation that they already had and this person was like oh boy i don't know what to do and i feel like there could be just a degree of both of you even not fully showing how you feel a bit of like wearing a mask energy what's also important here i think is that um you know there is some kind of journey uh that both of you had to take place and here I'm getting a couple of very, very important messages. So first thing I'm getting here is that this person maybe had to walk away from the situation with you. And I hope you see this. My hand <laughs> is doing the shadow thing. But I think maybe even either you or this person met somewhere and they had to go afterwards or you had to go somewhere and it, maybe even other people were involved. If you didn't have necessarily to go, it could just be also about seeking the truth, going ahead and seeking the truth, the deep truth within. Um, this person, uh, for some of you, again, I do feel like they had to go somewhere or they had to do something. But for a lot of you, I do feel like the timing of this year, Scorpio, uh, which is like around Halloween time, November as well, and also... Um, maybe number 20 2020 could be where you when you and this person will have another opportunity to pursue the connection given of course you will be still interested in that given of course you will still want it i'm definitely seeing like uh halloween season like scorpio time november as well uh, and the 2020 here there could be an opportunity to restart something to reconsider something uh, i do feel also in this dynamic there could be a situation where one person's sun falls or another person's Saturn, perhaps, maybe. Um, there could be a situation where maybe one person is older than the other, one person is um, more mature than the other, another person is more childish. Somebody here could have two kids, two or three even kids already. If it's not about kids, I just think... Um, this could be there could be some kind of dynamic maybe even a past life connection where the two of you either had kids with this person or had some kind of like children were somehow involved i can't really figure out how uh, for a lot of you that you met this person this year uh for a lot of you also you could have been 28 29 um 30 maybe even uh but it doesn't have to be this will be just a specific message for some people i also see here that again if there was a situation where somebody had to make a choice um it's possible that they either with time or even right now they're realizing that you're somebody maybe not necessarily they're ready to like choose you but maybe they're just realizing you are worth you know like it's worth going deeper in this connection and with the sun card here i'm also getting it's possible that you guys could have met maybe even one of you could have had uh, their birthday something about somebody's birthday here because i'm seeing solar return here um i'm also getting here that in this particular connection again somebody here wasn't fully free to do whatever they want and here this card literally says break free of restrictions things will stay the same unless you're willing to fight the status quo so something about this relationship could be unconventional. It could be hard for one person who is more conservative here because there is something about this relationship that needs to be done in a conventional way. Like it's almost like maybe even some of you watching this are either Taurus or Scorpio rising and you have Uranus affecting your relationships right now. So there is an element of definitely something being quite different about this connection. So for you to kind of 
for you both to actually move forward with this connection it's important that you break free of any kind of restrictions limitations of your mind i also feel like uh for some of you you could be going through saturn return or through saturn transit even as well with the capricorn card here feel for whoever chose pile number two it's especially important that you guys listen to your intuition you don't let like the mental chatter the monkey mind as one of my yoga teachers says um to sort of like you know uh win here and you listen to your intuition you listen to your own heart above all because i do think this connection is very spiritual there's definitely again love here and i think this person could see you also as like very bright maybe even a bit childish very happy being and you know i feel like through this connection there will be a moment where both people will have some kind of breakthrough and again if you guys are in some kind of separation the timing that i mentioned again for just some people not for everyone might resonate here as well i do feel like it's almost like going to be another chance to either see each other or to meet each other again something like that so anyway i hope you guys enjoy this pile number two feel free to choose more than one pile and now we're going to move to pile number three as whoever chose pile number three let's see your cards we have here if you believe we also have here transformation, we have here six of cups, we have here Pluto, we have here, uh, interesting, go watch pile number two as well, because this card is about a uh, lady, like thinking lady, and pile number two got thinking gentleman, so do choose, the, do, do, do choose that pile as well if you want. Um, Maybe it's like I'm going to be tapping into a situation from two different sides of the connection. We have here Karma is on your side. We have here Ace of Pentacles. We have here Athletes. We have here Enlightenment, Crown Chakra. A lot of purple and green here. And we have here the Three of Cups. So I feel like it could be, again, do check pile number two because it might be i'm going to be tapping into two different sides of same connection here so i feel like this person thinks about you and they also see you as this very feminine energy like very graceful very like one of you could be maybe virgo or i don't know maybe even libra not necessarily like can be even scorpio all kind of um signs could be here but i think there's something very feminine very well put together about your place when it could be 29 um or it could be life path 11 2 1 um and i feel like you know <laughs> this person definitely sees you as somebody really really beautiful somebody very graceful very fun um definitely like the kind of uh, especially if you are you know, woman watching this and you're inquiring about a man or about same sex like they see you as this kind of uh, dream girl maybe even and it's interesting because right now i feel like there is this energy of where maybe there was even some kind of breakup but i'm not really getting a breakup i'm more like getting an energy where somebody had to temporarily put a stop on a connection to walk away maybe from the connection and it's interesting because pile number two also got you know like i did see there was a dissolution of something but it was only so that in the future there could be a reconnection um so it's interesting here i also feel like for some of you things have ended with this person but at the same time it's almost like something feels not quite complete it feels more like how to say it feels more like a see you later not goodbye if you know what i mean and it's also interesting because we do have here the six of cups which is about also returning coming back to someone missing someone as well and we also have here pluto itself which is a card of death rebirth and transformation and this card here from the oracle which is about transformation as well so it's almost like there is some kind of transformation happening behind the scenes with you and this person I get that for a lot of you also there will be opportunity maybe even to reconnect to see each other again if you're currently in separation um from the time period of around september to i feel more more specifically uh what do you call it? it's october november gonna be more important here because i'm seeing like halloween and right after halloween months number 11 which is november but for a lot of you i think you're not sure if you believe that things are gonna improve for this person or not and this card is telling you what do you believe in like what do you believe to be true? Do you believe that, you know, something is going to happen here? 
maybe it's best to leave it behind but I do feel like again this is not a goodbye this is more of a see you later situation we also have here karma is on your side so maybe also you felt there was something not quite fair about the situation like you felt like oh my god finally I met a cool guy and he has like I don't know a girlfriend or he's in living in different country or something like some kind of issue and you are like what am I supposed to do with this? Do I have some kind of like jinx on me? Why like I either never meet anyone and like or I don't meet good guys and then finally I meet a good guy and there is also something. I feel like here you're like they're encouraging you to basically chill out a little bit to relax because karma is on your side. Um, it's almost like you will get exactly what you deserve here and whoever is watching you you know from above they do know what you've been through. They do know things were unfair sometimes. And they do know maybe you even, like, they owe you a little extra, you know? So it's almost like, it, it's interesting here, this card also says, if you could read all the minds that I read, hear all the prayers that I hear, and beat all the hearts that I beat, I wonder if you'd even believe how often you are thought of, talked about, and fallen in love with. It's payback time. So this card literally talks about payback time in a major way. So don't be sad. Just be patient. Don't lose your faith. And when I say this, by the way, don't be stuck on one person either, because... You know, it's a general reading, guys, so I cannot tell you that all of you will necessarily come back with the person who you have this breakup with, because with the Eight of Cups, I do see somebody here walked away, but there is also with the Six of Cups an energy, especially next to Transformation and Pluto, there is an energy where there could be a reunion for some people, but for other people, it could be just that there could be a new person who, you know, you will feel this energy with, because maybe you were feeling that you're constantly in the energy of leaving things behind, heartbreak, having to separate, so now there could be this energy for you that finally you feel like all the pieces of you are coming back together, maybe it's going to be with the same person, maybe with a different person, but I feel like, again, we're asking here about a specific person, most likely it's going to be with them, but you are here really, really, um, you know, encouraged to keep your faith here. And it's interesting because we also do have here the Ace of Pentacles card, which to me, especially with the payback, you know, next to it kind of talks about that you're going to get some kind of major blessing. Um, for a lot of you, you know, when it's going to be also this energy for some of you going to start either around, if you have like a birthday coming up, maybe then, but I'm also getting like... Um, the energy of uh, switch of energy of new year um basically like end of september october so anyway i'm feeling like the fall time period here is important but again guys i don't want you to be stuck on timing and maybe even you're going to be watching this video like a year from now or whatever don't be so stuck on timing but i feel like for those who are watching it now maybe like there could be an important message to you something will make sense about what i'm seeing here uh, and with the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like there's going to be some major opportunity given to you, some kind of, something very major. It's almost like there were little things that were now working out here and there because there is something so much bigger and better coming your way. And I'm also feeling here that, let me see, oof, 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 oof. I feel like something here about color purple even could be important, purple and green, so maybe heart chakra and your crown chakra as well. I feel like one person here could be very strong physically, maybe even practicing some kind of either military arts or uh, sport, dance, yoga even, you know, something about physical strength is indicated here. And somehow it is not just a physical practice, but it is also connected to spirituality, to like energy of, uh, you know, just spiritual growth. So. I feel like this is somehow important in your connection. So maybe you either practice these things together or um, one person is somehow inspiring another person to also do these things. Somehow it's important to your connection. Here. And I feel like this connection is also helping you to transcend through any kind of limitations you thought you had in life. We also have here Three of Cups. Here are the Three of Cups, which talks about possibly for some of you there could be also another person involved in the connection, but if not, it could also be that there could be a social event, an important social event, where something could start moving forward with this person. 
uh, somebody here could have a cat maybe even <laughs> but I feel more than anything this is about an energy of like being social some kind of social events so maybe you will see each other on some kind of social events even with this person I do feel like this person misses you also possibly as well uh, they see you as somebody like very beautiful very feminine very well put together is what I'm getting you know how there is this people who are just like everything is you know so just on point about them and it doesn't have to be that they are super beautiful or in some kind of way whatever it could just be that the way they are their package is just perfect and especially if a person likes you you know sometimes even our you know not even the most uh, like our favorite parts about ourselves could be so beautiful to another person if you know what I mean so this is what I'm getting here. So again, do watch pile number two because I do feel like this is some kind of energy. It could be even a more new connection where it's just sort of like there was some kind of separation happening. But I feel like, again, just like what I felt with pile number two, it's more of a like see you later and not a goodbye. So anyway, guys, always feel free to choose another pile as well. Hope this resonated. And now we're going to move to pile number four. I chose pile number four. Let's see what you guys have. We have here mother. We also have here show compassion, higher heart, chakra, higher heart chakra. We have here the six of cups. We also have here the six of swords. We have here remain positive. We also have here the worker. We have here judgment. It's so odd, but energy of some piles here is very similar today. We have here Gemini. So feel free to watch more than one pile. We have her here number 30, sexuality. We have here, see me in their eyes. And we have here, the Ten of Cups. Guys, so I feel like this is one of this connection where there's a lot of deep feelings involved from both sides, possibly even families, children. Uh, if you don't have children yet, maybe it's the person you really would want to have children with. I feel like the signs I'm seeing here also are Gemini. Um, maybe even Libra, Scorpio, Virgo, um, Cancerian possibly even as well. And what I'm feeling here is that this person definitely sees you as somebody, you know, there is some kind of this a bit, I don't want to say it's odd energy, but there is some kind of um, energy here where this person feels this very nourishing, very loving, very, uh, you know, very like higher heart chakra type of you know energy from you because it's interesting we got this call, uh, card here which is mother and green and this card here as well it's the same kind of energy and it's almost like you could have maybe reminded uh, them of their mother if you're a woman watching this maybe they thought of that if they were to have kids that you would be the kind of person they would want to have kids with um could also be that um they just see how, you know, how loving, how nurturing, how feminine you are. If you know for sure that maybe your connection is not that deep yet. But something about children here, because again, we have your mother, we have there this, this Ten of Cups card, which is also about kids, and Six of Cups, which is also in traditional tarot, has to do with kids. Plus, on top of everything, we do have here this card, number 30, sexuality. So there's definitely a physical attraction on both sides and the romantic feelings. Um... I do feel like for some of you, like you could be Gemini or they could be Gemini or maybe even you like have some kind of twins in your life, which is like not necessarily your kids, doesn't necessarily mean you're going to have twins, but I'm, li I'm seeing actual twins and I'm not sure what it means exactly here because I'm almost seeing that maybe you have friends, close friends who are twins or something like that, but I'm seeing actual, actual twins. Uh, I feel like for some of you guys, there could be an energy where, you know, there was again some kind of separation going on right now. And it's interesting because literally every pile pretty much got the Six of Swords. And I was feeling like, you know, for a lot of people, there could be just, you know, you could have just said goodbye to somebody and it felt very hard. Maybe you weren't even in a relationship with this person and you were like hoping that things would get, were to get more serious but either a person pulled back or there was some kind of circumstance your or their work or something like that or somebody had to travel or relocate somewhere and things kind of like got how to say like things got you know things are on hold you know how there is this um 
um, I think it's the XX song about something like on hold and stuff, like one of the newer songs. <laughs> I don't know why I'm hearing this song now. And, and I'm also feeling like one person here is really, really missing. The another person thinks about them. Um, it's almost like maybe even if you you or they felt like for a while they couldn't really feel deep emotions suddenly like this unconditional love energy this high heart energy here is being kind of like ignited through this connection because this is like you know mother is like one of the most unconditional love is a mother to a child of course when it's healthy and balanced because the shadow attribute can also be smothering, abandoning, instilling guilt, and all of that stuff. But motherly archetype and motherly energy in the light attribute is unconditional love. It's nurturance, it's patience. So definitely all of this energy is here, and all of this energy is somehow opening up through this connection. I do feel like for some of you, there was a break again, and I'm seeing like somebody here had to travel. I'm even seeing direction, maybe it was east, like, um, no, sorry, not east wet like northwest no north like northwest or something like that I'm, I'm seeing like that direction had to go in that direction whatever it is not necessarily of course general reading and because of that like i feel like whoever watches this you're trying to remain positive you're trying to have your hope up hopes up you're trying to just you know um have faith really here because like you i feel like you do love this person you do miss this person you do want to be with them and i do feel like they have these feelings to you here as well i feel like it's reciprocated we do have card here which talks about work and worker i feel like whoever this person is they are right now either working on something or maybe they are if they a person who is not very easily connects to their feelings and emotions maybe they even trying to disconnect from all the feelings that they get by just going and working super hard on something um you know i feel like also this is an invitation for you as well if you're overly focused on this connection to go and channel maybe some of this energy into your work i mean here it's almost like i want to say that there will be probably an opportunity for some kind of return here for some kind of comeback if somebody here left another person um I don't really feel honestly whoever chose this pile for that anyone left somebody I don't feel like there, there was actual breakup I feel more like it was one of the situation when you met and you had a lot of feelings and then it kind of like some kind of circumstance some kind of like thing became a priority and somebody here had to go somewhere that's what I'm seeing almost like for work I'm seeing somebody here even works in um, some kind of creative industry maybe um, and it was a big opportunity to do something they always wanted that they had to take and i'm also feeling like one person here is really really missing another person thinks about them um it's almost like maybe even if you you or they felt like for a while they couldn't really feel deep emotions suddenly like this unconditional love energy this high heart energy here is being kind of like ignited through this connection because this is like you know mother is like one of the most unconditional love is a mother to a child of course when it's healthy and balanced because the shadow attribute can also be smothering abandoning instilling guilt and all of that stuff but motherly archetype and motherly energy in the light attribute is unconditional love it's nurturance it's patience so definitely all of this energy is here and all of this energy is somehow opening up through this connection i do feel like for some of you there was a break again and i'm seeing like somebody here had to travel i'm even seeing direction maybe it was east like um no sorry not east wet like northwest no north like northwest or something like that I'm, I'm seeing like that direction had to go in that direction whatever it is not necessarily of course general reading and because of that like i feel like whoever watches this you're trying to remain positive you're trying to have your hope up hopes up you're trying to just you know um have faith really here because like you i feel like you do love this person you do miss this person you do want to be with them and i do feel like they have these feelings to you here as well i feel like it's reciprocated we do have card here which talks about work and worker i feel like whoever this person is they are right now either working on something or maybe they are if they a person who is not very easily connects to their feelings and emotions maybe they even trying to disconnect 
from all the feelings that they get by just going and working super hard on something um you know i feel like also this is an invitation for you as well if you're overly focused on this connection to go and channel maybe some of this energy into your work i mean here it's almost like i want to say that there will be probably an opportunity for some kind of return here for some kind of comeback if somebody here left another person um i don't really feel honestly whoever chose this pile for that anyone left somebody i don't feel like there, there was actual breakup i feel more like it was one of the situation when you met and you had a lot of feelings and then it kind of like some kind of circumstance some kind of like thing became a priority and somebody here had to go somewhere that's what i'm seeing almost like for work i'm seeing somebody here even works in a, some kind of creative industry maybe um and it was a big opportunity to do something they always wanted that they had to take i'm also getting for a lot of you there is this very strong sexual energy that exists between the two of you somebody here could be 30. um i feel like it's a strong connection in terms of like you know when you have this romantic feelings and this strong sexual feelings you're like oh my god this is exactly like the kind of person you know i want to marry have children with have this amazing like um private life with and i feel like for a lot of you there could be an opportunity to do that um october months is important and so is i think 2020 something also within six months could really change here um of course for those people who resonate with the message so only i would say only pay attention to timing that i say when like everything about the reading resonates every sign hits the point and all of that if it just resonates like whatever 50 percent or so you know timing might not be necessarily like for you we also have here this card see me in their eyes it says whenever basically you're dealing with anyone speak to the highest within them and it's interesting because i actually have a friend of mine i'm seeing in this situation it's almost like there is a lot of sadness and pain that the situation had to be this way that they cannot be with them anymore but this person is really pushing themselves to be positive especially what resonated somebody has here strong uh, virgo in their chart and i feel like this person is trying to focus on the most positive higher self of this other person like whenever they even speak to them or whenever they uh, imagine any situation they try to imagine the situation in its highest light possible like they try to see like they try to see the best in the situation the best in this person and uh, you know it's it's really this takes a lot of courage this takes a lot to uh you know be able to remain so positive in a situation that could be challenging on some level and again i feel like for a lot of you you know there's something about gemini importance of that um for only the those people who are in um you know you know that for sure this person is gonna stay with you for the next few years like for whatever reasons maybe you're married to them maybe whatever it is um maybe you just know maybe you work together or whatever uh there is going to be in 2020 actually from may to about july venus retrograde in the sign of gemini it's going to be very significant so a lot of gemini's and people who have this placement are going to be affected this is only specific for those people but i feel like again somehow even if you don't see how things are going to turn out you're going to end up happy you're going to have a relationship you're going to have you're going to have even kids you know and like much happier life so just stay positive you know be open to whatever comes your way i do feel like this person does feel also like they do miss you but this person i think is also very much buried in some kind of work they're doing for some people i think it's also something creative something related maybe to communications maybe even singing speaking some kind of production work i'm also even seeing so anyway guys thank you so much for watching i hope this resonated feel free to watch again um maybe even two and three because this was a bit weird today um messages were a bit kind of like one thing was flowing into another so maybe i'm tuning into some very specific group today so anyway guys thank you so much for watching and now we're gonna do the last pile pile number five five let's see what you guys got we have here love doesn't have to be near we have here a temperance we have here nine of pentacles we have here priest we have here self-expression throat chakra we have here the seven of pentacles 
we have here no <laughs> we have here the healer we have here respect we have here justice we have here mars we have here page of wands and we have here mice Ooh, this is a bit of a heavier energy to be honest whoever chose this pile so i'm picking up a couple of things here right away does this person love you i don't want to say necessarily no for everyone for some people it's a no for other people, maybe it's just about that this person has rejected the connection or tries also not to think about you. So for some people, yes, I have to say that it's going to be a no. This person might, you know, and we're going to get into it in a little bit why it's a no. Uh, it could be that this person maybe even took this, their time to understand what they feel to you and they realize that if whatever they feel is not enough for them to start making different choices whatever they do if what they feel is not enough for them to actually you know initiate a serious relationship with you probably you know it's not love maybe it's a different feeling but it's not love for those of you who don't resonate with this energy it could just be that this person has rejected the connection and tries also not to think about you right now at the moment um i have a feeling that whoever is in this connection as well there could be some kind of a physical separation happening right now maybe it's even like you're in two different parts of the world maybe you're far from each other and this card here says love doesn't have to mean near some are better loved at a distance so again if you definitely do know that you do yourself feel that this person has feelings to you and you love them you know always listen to your own um to your own guidance first i'm personally the kind of reader who always tries to help you connect to your own intuition you know first whenever i work with you or whenever i do this youtube readings because your own intuition your own connection to the light to your angels to creator to whatever you want to call it most important i'm here just you know to whatever give some additional messages along the way and um, for those of you who definitely know and feel that there is love i feel like maybe at the moment it's better to be away from them for some reason and i feel like reason here being is that oh well with a mars card here i think it has to do with some kind of conflict that has occurred with you and this person in the past one of you could be scorpio virgo maybe even leo libra year of a red um what else fire signs even taurus but but if I didn't mention your sign, by the way, it doesn't mean that that doesn't apply, you know. But with a Mars card, I'm getting more than anything. Also, you have some kind of hard aspect between each other's charts. So maybe like Mars square Pluto, Mars opposite Pluto, or Saturn, or some kind of planet. So I feel like you guys, when you were together, on when you were closer to each other, you brought up a lot of, how to say, emotions in each other and feelings. And maybe there were a lot of fights even. With this card here, with a mice and red... 23 it could be an important number, but I think more than anything, it's also about some kind of losses even that happened because of this connection, some kind of fights, gossips, maybe even just not the higher, like, you know, not the most high vibration, to be honest, card. Um, and I feel like also both of you or one of you could be, be very busy with something they are working on because this is also about busyness about just i'm seeing a lot of like movement a lot of different energy around this which is not very high vibration to be honest here with the justice card here i also feel like somebody here could be either going through a divorce um and some kind of separation maybe even both of you maybe one of you maybe you met each other when one uh, of you was going through some kind of uh, dissolution of significant partnership which is why things could have been between the two of you also a bit more rocky and um, it's interesting because it's almost like also there is this balance head and heart needing to balance something i feel like you know here this for a lot of you probably been going on already for quite some time with the seven of pentacles you were hoping maybe even that the situation will finally pay off however what you got out of the situation is what i'm feeling is not what you expected it's almost like you did get out some kind of blessing from the situation but it wasn't what you expected and I also feel like this person, regardless of what happened, regardless of what ha conflict was there or whatever, this person does respect you, even though it might not always seem like that, they do. 
they have some kind of respect to you and let's say if you do know again that your situation is like this person definitely doesn't respect you this will also be an indication for you if they don't respect you that this is probably also not the best scenario for you because this card here, here says know that your soulmate will naturally exalt you above all others so you know there must be boundaries mutual respect promises that are kept value themselves and value others so if this person respects you, I would say, great, there is chance that things will improve. And if this person doesn't respect you, maybe it's also because this is not the right person for you. And it's important to accept it and understand it so you can move forward. I'm also getting here this energy of, um, I'm seeing a few important things, I think, here. I'm getting that one person here could be some kind of spiritual healer, maybe just a spiritual, maybe very religious, very spiritual. Um, maybe even a channel to other people in some spiritual way. I'm also feeling that for some of you, it's going to be very specific messages for some people. Because of the heartbreak or because of some kind of pain you have um, with this connection, you're going to meet an important either spiritual teacher or spiritual healer who you might have um, even learned from, who might help you heal, or who you might even... Oh, sorry. Or, or who you might even have some kind of, uh, you know, connection with, like a spiritual connection, maybe even romantic or friendship connection. If it's not a different person, you yourself could end up tapping into your healing spiritual abilities because of this connection. And I also feel like maybe it's even this blessing that I was mentioning that it's not like you got out something from this connection, from all this investment you made in this connection. You got something out, but not what you thought you would get. And we have here with the temperance card i do see for a lot of you there is distance between you and this person right now maybe it even started when jupiter went into the sign of sagittarius which was late last year and it's going to be staying there until the end of this year and i feel like for a lot of you there is things that are also happening somehow related to this connection that you're currently not aware of there's things that happen behind the surface for a lot of you the message that i'm getting right now is that you will be communicating with this person there will be possibly some kind of message that you will receive that will clear things up because we do have here throat chakra and page of wands together i feel for some of you this connection is meant to stay in your life not necessarily as a love connection but as some kind of maybe either creative project you will have with this person maybe you already started this project by yourself because of the connection with this person for others maybe you will work with this person together it will be definitely somehow, even though you didn't expect it, but it somehow will bring some kind of um, benefits, you know, blessings into your life, which a lot of them will be financial. Um, for a lot of you also, throw chakra is important. Uh, I'm hearing that somebody here needs to start using it more actively, needs to start appreciating the voice that they have, need to start appreciating anything that they have, because again, we have our physical body here with us for a reason, like, how to say, we need to make sure that we appreciate everything we have, ability to see, ability to talk, ability to sing, whatever it is, and we use it to our highest capacity. So for some of you, maybe this person somehow is also encouraging you to go in the direction of self-expression. Self-expression and healing is important here. For some of you, you might even have a creative project with this person, which has to do with talking, um, expressing yourself, singing. You might work again with this person, or you might just because of this connection start something of your own of that nature. And I do see again that you will receive some kind of very, you know, even how to say, maybe even comforts in life, luxury even on some level. Um, it's kind of weird, to be honest. I am not getting a complete answer. I feel like this is one of these readings where energy will split into two different, um, you know, sort of like groups. Because for some people, this is definitely not the right person for you. Sorry to say this. And you will know that I almost feel like the definite sort of like diagnostic tool here will be if you ask yourself does this person respect you if yes probably chances are maybe just at the moment they are rejecting this connection for whatever reasons and you need to give them this time to heal maybe it's because they're dealing with also separation and some kind of also changes they want to fully make sure they close one door before they jump into anything else for others who you, you don't ever get respect from this person but only fights and only some kind of like low vibration energy because this mice here in, is in, not in high vibration sometimes it can be if a person is just busy and all of that things but i almost get like you know um 
that if this person doesn't respect you, if it's only fights, it's best to walk away, take whatever you can from this connection, because again, I feel like some of you have awakened your healing abilities, your creative abilities, maybe even some kind of abundance 